what we are going to see now is uh, the approach to chest pain. So, although we say chest pain, most often the patient may not present with chest pain at all. Many times they present with what is known as chest discomfort. It may be a pressure, it may be squeezing or choking or numbness or any other discomfort in the chest. So, the pain may not be the pain and it may not be in the chest also. It may be in the neck, in the upper abdominal and also in the jaw, head or arms. So, chest pain need not be pain, need not be in the chest. To have an ischemic discomfort may not be in the chest, it may not be the pain. And it can last from a second to days and weeks. And it may be very short or very long, very short or very long. And it can occur frequently or rarely or occur sporadically or predictably. Right. Why the chest pain is important is it is the leading cause of malpractice losses to emergency physicians because sometimes because they do not go into the history properly and depending upon the investigations like the electrocardiogram or echocardiogram, they will miss a myocardial infarction. So, it is said that 10 percent of myocardial infarctions are missed because of history being not taken properly. So, 5 percent of MA patients are sent home. And today, which is, it is very, very important to diagnose acute myocardial infarction, especially STEMI at the earliest because the earlier interventions like PCI or a thrombolysis is going to be not only saving the life, but also going to save the myocardium, which will give the good quantity or quality of life to the patient in future. So, that is why it is very, very important to diagnose the acute coronary syndromes. And for that, the history is very important, the chest pain is important. What is the chest pain approach? First of all, we must know whether the chest pain is cardiac or non-cardiac. In cardiac, we must know whether it is coronary or non-coronary. In coronary, we must say whether it is acute or chronic. On acute, we must know whether it is ST elevation ACS or non-ST elevation ACS, whether we have to give a thrombolytic or not. In chronic uh, coronary pain, we must know whether it is a high risk uh, chronic coronary pain or low risk, whether if it is going to be non-coronary chest pain, whether it is cardiac pain or non-cardiac pain. So, this is the information we must get from history and also some investigations like ultracardiogram. So, first we look at uh, coronary chest pain. So, although we are world number one in many things and la last that world number one, the one world